today I have something to share with you. Uh, I don't think this will be a very long video because it's it's a, a review of a, a product that's, that's very straightforward. Um, but I was uh, contacted uh, a while ago by Michael. Michael wanted to send me something. Now you may know Michael as my 63 leather on Instagram, and he also has a website my63leather.wordpress.com, but you can find that in his Instagram account. And um, uh, in a nutshell, Michael is a leatherman, not not the not the multi-tool, but but a leather a producer of leather leather goods. And what I find very interesting is that he seems to be able to make almost anything you want. So we, you, you just tell him, Michael, I want this, and then you discuss things, and he can make that for you. Which is very, very neat. Now, what he sent me is a, uh, a, a single pen pouch. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with, with pouch, uh, but it's, it's, it stores one pen. Now, he, he, the nice thing is that you can give him the specifications you're looking for and he can make you something to those specifications. So I asked him for something really big. Uh, it's, it's, it's really large. I have, a, what do I have here? This is a, a Sailor Realo. So it's, it, this is a very big pouch, but the reason I wanted that was so that I could put a really big pen in it. Now what Michael does is, as I said, it's, it's leather. Uh, just to give you an idea, a uh, quick rundown of the product. Uh, this is really hard. It's really tough. So it, it, I really feel like this gives your pen a very good protection, which is very nice. Now the system is, is kind of neat, but first let me show you a bit of a close-up here. Here we have the, uh, the leather. So I asked for black leather and red stitching, just because I like black and red um, and uh, you, you can see the the you know how, how he stitched that very nicely I, I really like that of course if you don't want to see it you can just ask for black on black uh, this is a sort of canoe shaped thing which in a way I think is, is very neat and what's interesting is that the closure system I'm, I'm not holding this in front of my t-shirt but in front of my extremely white face um, I try to stay as pale as I can and um, so you have this toggle I do that for a reason, you know, so that I can show you dark products better on video. Um, you have this toggle which you slide down. It can't slide off because there's these little things at the end, all right? And then you pull the cord and then you open the pouch and then it just opens up. You can't lose the part because the second part is connected to the first and then you have this lining. Lining is very nice. It's very soft. Uh, I like it. I chose red lining because again I kind of went for that red and black theme. So this is all black and this has red inside. And in there is, in this case, my Visconti Speakeasy. Now you see this fits very well. I mean, very, very well. I, I gave fairly spacious uh, measurements. Um, but it's it's neat. I mean, this pen. Let me let me take you here. here here's the problem, right? Here's the here's standard pen pouch, and, and the Speakeasy. I mean, this, well, this, obviously this is not working, right? It's not working. So he needs something big, and I thought Michael would be able to help out, and he did. So, fits perfectly well, put that back in there, close that up, and you're gone. This won't accidentally open, it's quite secure, and you can carry this around, you can put it in a bag, you can do whatever you want, but, I mean, I, I think you can pretty much take an M1 Abrams tank and drive over this, and your pen will probably survive. It's, it's, it's very, very tough. And I really like it. So I, I, the, the product I should mention was not sent over for review. Uh, he, he sent me one for, uh, I'm, I'm just going to say, personal reasons, which I appreciate. Um, but I wanted to review it because I want to show you what the product is all about. And especially if you are like me and you, you like obscene pens like this, it's just, it's just huge. Or if you have something else you like, pocket pens. I know there are people who collect pocket pens and they won't fit in any pouch either. Talk to Michael. Maybe he can help you out with something. It doesn't have to look like this. I mean, as I said, I'm, I'm getting the feeling, I could be completely off, but I'm getting the feeling he can make pretty much everything you want. And definitely can make things to your specifications. So, there you go. Uh, just an, an overview of this product. Uh, I've been using it. I like it. It works. Of course, there's all kinds of applications. I, uh, I can easily see the EDC community latching onto something like this. Uh, store pocket knives, I don't know, make small survival kits, uh, wherever you want, but it's it's a reliable thing, compresses nicely, it's, it's tough, so it's neat. So Michael, thanks a lot for sending me this, I appreciate it. Uh, did I mention the name again? I honestly forgot. My63 Leather, check him out on Instagram uh, if you're looking for a specific leather goods product and maybe uh, he can help you out. Alright, hope this was useful. 
course, uh, I don't have anything else to say. So I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.